saying, who's Drelco? Basically, we're an aluminium manufacturer. We're anything that's got aluminium in a, in a house, basically, um, we've got a product that's part of that or has been used in part of the process. So just a brief history on, um, on Drelco. We're a privately owned company, approximately 50 employees, based out in uh, West Auckland. We're all Westies out there. Um, we like to think we have innovative design and manufacture of aluminium building products. We, uh, we like to um, solve problems. Uh, we look for solutions that may be a bit left field, but uh, that's what we try and do with some of our various products. In terms of marketing throughout the country, we're basically wholesalers and manufacturers. We don't sell to the retail. Um, we own the Home Plus brand, and we've got uh, uh, about 50% of our business is the Home Plus franchise throughout the country. We also have uh, a good base of trade customers. We also export into, um, up into French Polynesia, Tahiti and Numea and, uh, and elsewhere around the islands. We also export into Germany and Scotland of all places. So it's, um, we're, um, we're very proud of what we've done. Uh, as I said, we've got 28 branches out of the Home Plus um, branches throughout the countryside. We've got a uh, full powder coating plant. We're a um, Dulux accredited operation there, and we can, one advantage that we give is a 10 year warranty on the standard Duraloy powder coating product. We're on the high spec Duratec, we give a 20 year warranty. A lot of companies won't give that, but we've got every confidence in our product, and our processes, and our testing. Okay, the, some of the products that we, um, that we have to offer gates. Century architectural gates, they are the louvers, the slats, uh, a TNG here. We can do basically anything with a gate. We have the Century, the classic gates, which is your uh, a basic 50 by 50 frame and, and the, um, the round vertical balusters. We also supply automation. We're the agents, New Zealand agents for NICE, who are an Italian company, and uh, they do tubular motors for awnings. We also do range of motors for gates. We don't do the nice barrier arms that you may see around here. Uh, pool fencing. We sell container loads of pool fencing. Uh, very popular product, all conforms to the Fence Swimming Pool Act and the NZS 8500. Century, um, the slat fencing. We're doing more and more of that as um, houses are having infills, pillars, etc. And we've got systems that fit into that. And we've, on the bottom there, we've got our Avanti range of gates, which is um, cheap and cheerful. Spoken about awnings, we have um, a range of different types of awnings. We have the Deville, which has been around for many years. We have the Felicia boxed awning, where the awning, the canvas is actually retracted right back inside a, um, a head box, and therefore the canvas lasts a lot longer. We also have the solar zip, the drop down awning, more of the um, indoors, outdoors we're starting to move more into there. Um, various fabrics you can have. We don't generally recommend the clear PVCs, which a lot of people want to um, have in their drop down awning, but the trouble is with the heat, uh, it expands, contracts, and everything else. So we go with good quality canvases. Um, the airflow through those, we can get various. Um, uh, various ranges of um, airflow through them. Um, another part of our business is retractable insect screens, um, windows and doors, the insect um, mesh just retracts right back into that. In the middle there, the magnetic ones, that's uh, another cheap and cheerful product, um, <clears throat> but we're selling a lot of that now. We also on the right there, top right, the vignette. That's a lot of that has gone into the upmarket homes. It's a pleated product. It's ideal for where you've got um, stacker doors because you can go to a cartridge system that's got it's two meters wide and you can have three cartridges wide. So you've got your stacker doors you can open right up. Now if you're a bit concerned, you've got too many mosquitoes around or whatever else, you want to have some form of insect screen, um, you use a vignette. It comes out, <coughs> excuse me, it comes out like a train with various cartridges. And as I said, uh, we've sold a lot of that into um, upmarket homes. It's interesting that a number of uh, New Zealanders who have returned home from overseas, they've actually specified that product 
into their homes. They've seen it over there in Europe, um, in Japan, and places like that. Um, the old security screens, the, um, the standard 103 mesh that you see, most of the Australian homes appear to have that. And then we've got the super screen, which is a stainless steel mesh, and we also have a clear guard, which is a toughened punch aluminium, which is a, a lot better, I feel, than the, uh, than the old grill that you can see there. Showers, we also do showers, not a lot of aluminium in showers, so we don't like selling too many of them, but we have all the stainless steel fittings and fixtures that go in with those, various showers, the trident and the endoscope. So that's what we cover off. In terms of the um, uh, wardrobes, um, the Closet Pro, which is your, um, your basic melamine in various formats, you can do that. Uh, you can then go for the Illustor, which is uh, a wee bit different in design. We also have a wide range of uh, wardrobe doors that can be also used as interior doors, partitioning doors. Moving into more of the sort of commercial type market, we do a lot of the roller grills and the shutters um, through the, the kind of link and the night guard. Uh, as you'll see there, it's obvious for uh, use, prime use for um, malls, um, we also do bars, clubs, anything where they've got the, roll, the shutter that comes down. Chances are it'll be one of ours there. On the bottom there, we've got the intercept roller shutter. Very popular in Europe, um, increasingly popular in Australia, and it's just starting to get a foothold in New Zealand. And it's a shutter that comes down, used in residential situations. Um, we're finding it's going more into holiday homes, where people leave their holiday home at Omaha or whatever else, and they put the shutter down, it provides more security, people can't see in, and they've, they've just got a bit more confidence that the uh, place will still be there when they get back, and they come back again. Balustrades, big part of our market. We've got eight different balustrade suites, I won't cover them all of them here. Covering off various things, the uh, top left there, the edge balustrade. Um, that you can have the glass protruding or a fixed uh, finish at the top of the post, you can have it with and without a handrail. Uh, a feature of this product is that you have the hidden fixings for face fix like that. Uh, there's an insert clip or a strip that comes down the outside, hides any bolt fixings. On the right hand side is a good old Viking system, been around for many years, originally came from Australia. We won't hold that against them because it's a very good system and a lot of architects actually specify that still. It's a good system. Um, the double disc anchor, you would have seen round, and a number of you probably would have specified that even. That's little disc that you see. There's stainless steel discs. And then we also have the uh, Edge Tech commercial product, which covers um, C1, C2, C3, <coughs> and D. It doesn't cover um, C5, but that's our commercial product there with the 12 and the 15 millimeter glass. The mini post has proved very popular, um, especially top fix for swimming pools around there. Um, that top left is Omaha, and the other, uh, the other ones, uh, the other top right, bottom left, down in um, Queenstown. We've used a lot of that product down in Queenstown there. <coughs> that bottom right product is the house that's in Walkworth. Those of you who have gone through Walkworth recently, see on the corner there at the lights, first set of lights when you come into Walkworth. You'll see it through there. That uh, having that there, um, house there, it's amazing the number of leaves that we've got out from that. Okay, moving on to what we call the JH clamp. This is for those who don't want the stainless steel disc, the double disc system. This here, you'll see that the up here, you've got a 165 mil wide plate that goes on there, double fixings. Holes in the glass, holds everything in. Ideal for face fixing. Um, you can have it powder coated, being aluminium, you can have it powder coated basically whatever you cover you like. Uh, the lady who had this one done, this one was done up at Omaha again there. Um, it was basically to keep the dogs in and the grandchildren getting on the road there and with the pebbles there. Uh, you'll see here the bottom left is, it stands out quite a bit. But if you don't want it to stand out, um, you can do it on the bottom right here. 
you deck that right over and down. So basically, all you end up with are hidden fixings. All you end up is the slot in the deck and the glass coming up there. We've had a few installations where they've put LED lights, and some have actually put the LED lights virtually right underneath so it shines up through the glass. The Infinity, that's the latest um, system we've got out. It's, a, uh, it's very hard to see because it's uh, designed to be like that, so it sort of blends into the, uh, to the architecture of the house there. And it's a, uh, a channel system where we have a back and a front cover, and there's a heavy duty clamp system on the inside. It's all frameless. The glass goes down, sits in that, and you lock it in. Uh, very quick, very effective, easy system for the guys to install. And that is proving very popular. Um, gutter brackets. Um, this one up, up here, you'll see there's a hole there. This, this is just the initial fixing there. Um, this is where you're running, uh, you've got a gutter underneath. The gutter sits up in this area here. It doesn't have gutter brackets. You still use the gutter pro uh, proprietary brackets to attach your, your, your gut, the guttering system on. But this is just the method of bringing your balustrade posts out past the overhang on, on, on your deck up here. The, the post is actually attached up here through the, uh, through the counterboard holes. Now where you've got a floating deck um, with the pedestals, your client doesn't want to see here, we just use slats to go through here that lock into the post here. Here is where you see, this is where the, each system has, that has hidden fixings. You'll see that it's on there, but the, the cover strip is not on that there. And the last one here, this is a product we're just in the process of bringing out now. It's our opening louver roof. Um, probably one of the big differences between this and some of the other systems on the marketplace. Ours pivots at one end, where most of the louver systems pivot in the middle. So therefore, the difference when the louver is closed and it's rain, there's quite a difference distance between the louver and the actual um, guttering system, inbuilt guttering system. Our one is different, so it pivots and is up and is minimal flow, so you don't get water sort of spilling out over into the system. What we did was take uh, the best ideas of the uh, different opening mover systems and put them all together, um, refine it, and come up with um, a new, what we believe is an excellent new system. Um, you can just have necessary one post. Uh, we just put one the other day. It's completely enclosed from the building there. Um, so that is all aluminium, and you can go up to 5.8 um, standard size of 5 metres by 4 metres, but we can basically make it to whatever size you like. Okay then, so uh, that's basically it. More information, um, you can contact me, um, or you can go onto our website, or the eBoss website, we can go onto the Home Plus website as well for products, and there's links back to Duralco, um, back to me as the product manager, or you can contact um, Kyle Luce, who's here somewhere, who's our technical rep. So any queries, um, just give us a ring, and then we will then go from there. Thank you very much.